Hey guys, Jimbo Alvin here, and today I'm showing you guys a Pirate Hall 2 pretty much base design. Uh, so this is probably one of the best Pirate Hall base designs for pretty much Pirate Hall level 2 because it pretty much protects your gold at the exact same time it protects you from pretty much getting a 3 star. So let's go ahead and build this base, guys. So first of all, guys, you want to go ahead and get a few resources, uh, sorry, a few buildings and stuff like that. Uh, as you guys can see, pretty much I have everything maxed and everything pretty much that you can get possibly in Pirate Hall level 2. So that is also the guy... Uh, guide hall and pretty much the academy so you will need this stuff if you want to build this base so first of all guys uh, I'm gonna put these two things right over here as you guys can see uh, let's just move this guy down by one if you can go over them as you guys can see they're the exact same height um, so we're gonna have to clear that right over there but as you guys can see, they're ex pretty much the exact same width and everything, so you're going to put them here. This base is pretty much symmetrical or whatever. I don't want to make it, like, look bad and stuff like that. So you should have something like this. Then after that, what you want to what you want to do, guys, is pretty much come here. You want to place your cannon here. Then you want to get your second cannon and put it right over here. Um, then over here, you want to go ahead and get out your pretty much your gold storage. Put it right over here. Then you want to get out your grog storage. Place it right over here. Uh, we're going to have to uh, remove that rock over there because it's a little bit too close. Um, and what you want to do is get your Grug Distillery, put it right over here. Get your Gold Mine, put it right over here. Um, then we wanna get you, what you want to do is get your other Grug Distillery, put it there. Move back one. Um, or you can do a Builder's Hut. We'll actually just do a Builder's Hut right over here. Uh, so let's just put that in right there. Get our other Builder's Hut over here. Uh, and put it right over here. Uh, just move that down by that over there. Uh, now what you want to do guys is you want to go ahead and where's that item that I want here it is Tavern you want to put that right over there uh, Then you're going to come into here you want to go ahead and get out your uh, Pretty much your gun tower you want to place that right over here So that is pretty much doing a really really good base protection um, For your ship guys you can pretty much put that anywhere you want Preferably you want to put it like somewhere right here guys So that it's pretty much targeting something there you can also Try to, if you really want to, like, protect a lot of stuff, you can put it in the middle. But preferably, you want to put it on the corner, guys, just so tr people are, like, so it protects one of your sides in a way, because nobody can really spawn troops on this side, which is really good. Uh, so that's pretty much the point. Uh, then what you want to do is get your cannon, go ahead and put it right over here. Get your gold mine, place it right over here. Place that one up. Get out your grug storage. Place that right over here. Put one up right over there, just like that. Then what you're going to have is pretty much a mine. You want to go ahead and put that mine right over here. Then you're going to have pretty much your gold mine right over here. Or what you guys can do is put it somewhere like over here or something like that. But preferably, I like kind of like putting it like right over here or something like that. Just because uh, then the troops, after they destroy this, they'll kind of go this way. Into, like it, after they destroy the, this pretty much gold mine, they'll go this way. And pretty much your troops will destroy it. So what you have to do... Is pretty much move this back one over here uh, and then put that in over there so yeah that is pretty much it guys um, for the building of it now I'm gonna get into pretty much how it works and everything like that um, so how this base works guys is I kind of explained a little bit but I'll explain it again you got your Ken here which is a big big protector um, also guys if you want to make this base a little bit better you can go ahead and move your builders hut and switch it with your gold storage if you really want to uh, preferably like putting my thing over there um, like my grog storage and my storage is right over there because I find it to be just a little bit better in a way but if you really want to protect it to that big uh, of extent then you can go ahead and put it in the middle if you want uh, but it's whatever I guess I'll just put my storage in the middle right over there and yeah, so pretty much what this cannon does, guys, is as you can see, when the troops even spawn on the outside, it's going to go ahead and target them. Then what happens if the troops get any, pretty much any bit closer to your storages, right over here, uh, this is pretty much going to be the protection in a way. It's going to, like, protect them and really do a lot of damage because of just how this is. And then you got your other cannon here, which is doing some protection, and then your other cannon right over there. A lot of people, what they do, guys, is they think this is pretty much your weakest side in a way. But, uh, it's actually not your weakest side, it's actually one of your best sides. Let me just get this angle right. Um, so as you guys can see, you got your cannon here, which is actually targeting to this point over here. So even if they have troops that target pretty much from a range, you can still hit them, which is really good. And then also, if they pretty much have troops that, 
uh, go after your cannons and stuff like that, this this pretty much gun tower right here is protecting them too. So it's a bit of a protection. And then also you have this mine here just in case they want to send troops on this side and pretty much devastate you from there. So it's a really big protection base, guys. And yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have uh, Pirate Hall 3, but this is pretty much a one because I haven't really bought anything yet um, with pretty much Pirate Hall 3 yet. Uh, because I thought of making this video before I did that. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, a like would really be appreciated. If you really enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And make sure to apply to the Jim Wilmcraft Network for a 70% revenue share, guys. And make sure to click the link in the description, which pretty much gives you guys... It's like a way to earn free gems uh, in private plungers and also in, like, Clash of Clans, Boom Beach, or whatever. It's a program called... Um, what is it again? It's called Cash for Apps, which lets you pretty much, you download apps, you get points, and then you trade those points in for, like, gift cards and iTunes gift cards and all that really good stuff. So make sure to click the link in the description, guys. But that's pretty much it, guys. This has been Jimbo Evan, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.